Yo, what's up? Name is Jet Leo One, and yeah, I got him. Got him on the ropes. About to win. Let's get him. Go, 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 go. Five. First person. What the? I don't even know. Okay. Somebody else got him. I don't care. He's dead. It's all good. Could you even tell that was post commentary? Possibly, maybe. I don't know. But yes, I pulled an ocarina of time on accident. Got the drill gun, though. I still don't get why you get that at the end. But pulled an ocarina of time. Forgot to turn on my microphone. So you get to listen to me talk a day or no, two days late. Two days late. But anyways, we beat down Rahu. <laughs> yeah! Well, we won. Jet, look, Rahu, it's ready to fall. It fades to white. Hey, where'd everybody go? Okay, he's gone. That, that's just it. He just disappears. Everybody runs up. It's a family reunion. Pretty much. Somber music. Time to explain the story. Got Oboro knocked out from his burrito still. Eliza and Isabella. They're still sobbing over that they challenged the boss. They missed the boss. Jet. Uh, I think I talked right here. I don't know. I did like a full commentary. But I didn't have the microphone on. I don't know. Get to, get a move on me. Come on. Get a move on. I have one more message for you from Z's leader, your father. I was ordered to play it only once you would destroy Rahu. Forever. Speaker. Jet, I know I'll never see you again, so I want to give you these last few words. Uh, I think this is the part where I was remarking on how that I noticed that I didn't turn the microphone on. Yeah. Kind of sad, Ogata, if you turn on the live commentary mode after you've already started recording, it won't start recording your microphone, and it won't pick up anything you've already said. Kind of sad. Not as sad as this music, though. Can you hear that music? That music. Seriously. Can I get going? Okay. I'm sure people had their reasons for wanting to forget what had happened to them centuries ago. And for those reasons, we now live in an age of darkness, of forgetting. We didn't have to remember the horrors Rahu had created, but there was a problem. We also didn't remember that Rahu was still out here, waiting for its return. It seems obvious in retrospect that this should all happen. After all, nobody knew to prepare a defense against it. Nobody knew Rahu even existed anymore. In fact, the government created false memories, told us that all the dome was our whole world. Eh, I can't read. The ruins of the outside world would only bring doubts to the minds of those who saw it. They would only want to know what had caused all that destruction. And slowly over time, the odds became greater that someone would discover the truth. Rahu. The government could not abide this threat of instability. It did away with all knowledge of the outside. This was theft, plain and simple. The curious had been robbed of their ability to discover, to learn. People learn from their mistakes. We learn, and our thinking grows, leads us to a higher level. Like Pokemon and Rahu. Level up! Evolution! Yippee! I don't know. We get really philosophical here, though. It's like silly game and then super intense boss fight, serious philosophical musing. It goes crazy, but this is, why one of its, it's, this is one of my favorite games of all time. As long as there is unknown, human will pursue it and seek to unravel the mysteries. The government had stolen my growth, those things that force us to evolve and explore. The memory eraser device is a powerful tool if used properly. Our government, despite its pure motives, used it to an evil end. They used it to stop us from evolving and growing. They hit the B button on the evolution screen. Now that you've stopped Rahu, you must ask yourself how to best use the device. Will you erase everyone's memory of Rahu once again? If so, you'll prove that we have not grown as a species at all in the past few centuries. Mankind will be frozen, static, incapable of betraying itself, or bettering itself. Ah, only death lies down that path. Yeah, it'd be good if we didn't betray ourselves. Yeah, English, I suck at it. Jet, I'm sure your friends are listening with you. Hello? Okay, there we go. And I beg you, of you all, we cannot re repeat the mistakes of our forefathers. Consider carefully how you can use the device for the benefit of us all. Even me, the dead guy. I leave the rest up to you. Take care, Jet. End message. Captain Mira, what will benefit the people? I just don't know anymore. I don't know either. We've destroyed Rahu and we completed our mission, but... Hey, that reminds me. What do we do with all the Z-Syndicate guys we knocked silly? 
There's no way you can bring all of them back. Are you gonna call in the cops? They're not coming. No one comes out here. Never again. Especially if they don't know about the outside world. So what happens to them? You're just gonna leave them out here? Our mission was to stop Rahu. No, something's not right here. Captain Mira, we must tell people the truth. The Z Syndicate's work is done. The people see us as criminals. We have to repair that image. After all, as long as the truth about the outside world was kept secret, the police squad was unable to stop the wayward Z Syndicate members. If we have to keep this secret, others could exploit that knowledge. The people have a right to know what happened centuries ago. It's their history, too. Even if the truth were to disturb the people, it will make them stronger. It conf if it confuses the people, we will have to think of measures to stabilize them. And if the government still wants to hide the truth, then I will bring the truth to my people myself. Captain, I'm with Sergei. We can't keep this secret. I will too, won't you, Jet? Yeah, of course I will. No other options. Of course, though, it was yeah and uh-huh, so you didn't even get the choice. You don't even get the choice to be a punk. Yeah, same here, sis. Notice how she was so cold before, and then she flips around. She's like, don't worry, I feel the same way. We need to speak with the chief and our leaders. We'll let tell them that the people have a right to know. Yeah, that's my sis. Okay, we'll bring Z's leaders back to HQ. Excuse me, Mira, what's going to happen to Sergei? Marcia, you heard the captain. They're taking the leaders of the Z syndicate in. You don't qualify. I'm one of Z's leaders. I won't resist. Again, you don't qualify. You were the attack dog of the character's dad. You served under Obero, and you kind of fought against Eliza. You're not a leader. You, you can't really... Sergey. Hey, sis, you're not really going to arrest Sergey, are you? Captain. Sergey, return to the police squad. Captain, I no longer have the right. I abandoned my... That's an order! Sergey took the initiative to begin an independent undercover investigation that helped us out. However, you will be given a warning for acting without specific orders. Captain Mira. Mira, thank you. Captain. Jet, let me borrow that memory erasure device. I'll have Linda take a look at it. I won't let it get in the wrong hands. Will you let me borrow it? Yes and uh-huh. This time, uh-huh. Because, yeah, I'm counting on you. Um, and Mira, can I ask you a favor? I just remembered something. When my dad gave me that watch, he said he wanted me to take care of it because he got it from my mom, who was also gone. Jet, I think my dad placed a lot of his memories into that watch. This watch is the only thing I have left of my parents. I don't care if you use the memory eraser device on me or if you take it out of my watch. Just bring back the watch to me. That's all I ask. Okay, it must mean a lot to you. No, duh. I just explained why it means a lot. Seriously. Duh. I'll make sure you get it back. Good. Mira, thank you very much. Okay, let's go home. I can't wait to see Ernest's face when we tell him the truth. See the truth. I don't even know. And you guys got lucky here because the video would go on to 13 minutes, but I'm going to just skip the credits. Because you got the credits here, and all it is is them demonstrating first person mode. Like, I accidentally switched into first person at the end of this, or at the beginning of this video, not the end, but this is where you unlock it. You have to beat the game once to unlock the first person switch. And the credits are just a battle in first person with whatever you had on you. So it's just fighting a, uh, what are they called? A metal grappler, first person. But I still have my Rahu gear on, so it's set up for like a long range fight, not a normal fight. It's kind of interesting, but I'll spare you the details. This has been Jet Layer 1, and this has been Let's Play number 12, Custom Robo, on the GameCube. Really good game. One of my favorites of all time, not my favorite of all time, but one of them. Very high up there. Very, very good game. And I really hope they make another game in the series after Arena. Arena was good, but I want another one on, like, Wii U or 3DS, but, yeah. Hope you enjoyed watching this as much as I enjoyed making this, because this was really fun. I'm sorry about the month-long gap in the middle. Or not even the middle. After 31, I'm sorry for that month-long gap, because my computer went down. But I think I made up for it by rushing a bit here at the end. So, yeah. So this has been Jet Leon 1. I've said that, like, three times now. And I shall see you next time. Thank you.